guys, welcome back to the Katie Bass channel and welcome back to a brand new Geek Gear Wizardry unboxing. So I'm going to be doing the June box, it'll be, kind of at the end of June. Um, so yeah, so as usual I just want to say usual thanks for all the support um, the channel has, it's been having. Um, thank you all for watching, liking, commenting and subscribing. We've now reached a exciting milestone of 20 subscribers which is um overwhelmed it's like i can't believe it it's really exciting it really is um i mean i know in the grand scheme of youtube compared to you know lots of really successful youtubers 20 is a small number but to me it means the world and thank you so much guys um we will mark this milestone and hopefully further milestones um once some of the madness in the world calms down with some sort of giveaway just wait a bit longer um until i and probably you guys feel more comfortable with me sending things out in the post and such like so but in the meantime really really appreciate it thank you so much guys um and without further ado i think it's time to stop waffling and open up this box it's quite a it's a very very light box this month not that that necessarily means anything but um I'll find out what it's oh, I feel something soft inside probably the t-shirt but anyway let us oh hang on we're not ready let's loosen okay and three two one oh it was a t-shirt oh oh okay i'll have to look oh look at that box can you see that pop yeah, i think you can see that really sparkly party box but for now let's look at the t-shirt so let me hold it up a bit before I read it out to give you guys a bit of view. So it's like a window to the Great Hall. You can see the floating candles in the window. And it says, We've all both light and dark inside us. What matters is the part we choose to act on. That's who we really are. So that's that's, a, that's got to be a Dumbledore quote. It's just, it just sounds like the kind of wise thing he'd come out with. And I've never seen a t-shirt with a, um, a window on it, a great wall window, so that's unique and cool. It's a nice gradient as well from the uh, sort of almost white, very light blue, down to darker blue. And almost, I don't know how well it'll come out in camera, but it almost has a sort of shimmery metallicness to the, the, the print. Um, and the same with the gold lettering on the side. It kind of, it might just be the lights hitting it, but it does look kind of metallic -y to me, sort of pearlescent ish, which is really cool. And yeah, just another nice t shirt. Really been doing amazingly with t shirts lately. Really enjoyed them in the last few boxes. Um, let's save all the sort of boxes for now. Let's open well, this, what I assume is going to be a poster slash artwork and I'm going to go out now uh, rather on uh, a limb I have a kind of educated guess and say that this is probably going to be another community artist piece because they've been doing them um quite consistently lately so let's have a look Ooh, and it is can't quite see what the signature is AC I'll find out in the cheat sheet I, mean, I don't really want to hazard a guess at that but um it's signed and it is Madai Moody Talks and I want to say Kingsley Shacklebolt, not 100% sure on the uh, on that, but it looks like when they all gather in the burrow and they all turn into Harry Potter or the Apologies Potion to become Harry Potter in the Deathly Hallows part one, I want to say that happens. Um, it might not be from that, but it's definitely Talks, Madai Moody and not 100% sure if that's Kingsley, Shack Kingsley Shacklebolt or not, but I mean, does that not look like pretty much a photo? Like, the realism on that is beautiful. Um, oh, my voice is quavering. The emotion of it is so beautiful, but I mean, it is. I mean, it literally, it's so realistic. It's definitely realism. Um, which I, I mean, I like the ones, the other ones that we've had in the past that have been more painting-ish as opposed to realism-y. Realism oh, I can't really make up words, but I do like how realistic this looks. 
even down to like a floral pattern on Tonks' top and like a fluffy furry cloak looks and uh yeah I just I'm, like can you see that individual I can't see it now the individual wisps of hair particular on both of them but particularly like the tips of um my guys here it's so detailed it's fine it's beautiful it's truly beautiful so I'm so impressed by these community artists there's so much talent out there sadly I have none of that talent but hey at least I can enjoy the talent of other people in these boxes now we have four little boxes I'm just trying to see the, oh there's a charm I'm going to take the cheat sheet out and put it to the side for later and yes we have these four boxes and we have a charm oh Oh, it's a cute one, guys. Let me just rustle it before I give you a close-up view. And it is, I'll show you the back first. Let me get it focused. Oop. It is a little sock, and I'm sure you all got knows what's coming next when I turn it over. It says, we can make it out, it says free elf. So it's Dobby's sock. To free, so we can free Dobby with this sock. I think this is my favourite charm we've had so far. It's just so adorable and out of focus, but very. Can I get her to focus once more? Give you one last for you. I don't know how you're going to be able to see the words on it, but trust me, it says free elf. And there's even little details on the cuff of the sock. You can see like the little, you know, lines to t texture it, and then you can see the little line to mark the heel. And those are on the back as well, a little heel and cut. Oh gosh, if I can put it in frame. Again, it's out of focus now, but the little cuff and heel details on the back as well, but the writing is only on the front. And it's just, like I said, my favourite charm that we've had so far. They're so cute and the detail. And it's Dobby and, it's, and the whole fact that it is Dobby in the sock that will free him is just a beautiful charm of a beautiful moment in the Harry Potter story. So, yay, loving that. So we have a big, the big party box, a slightly smaller box, an even smaller box, and then a flat square box, which I don't know what to open first. Let's, let's go for the little one that says full glass on the side, sides and top, and then the other two sides that don't say it have what looks like a, what do you call those things, a van there we go, it's not so shiny and flat now, but it's like a Van de Graaff machine. Van de Graaff machine. The thing that like in science class you put your hands on and your hair would stand up, static energy. Well, not what it is, because that's not part of the magical universe, is it? And then on the sides where it says full glass here, it says it's got a couple of is it the same one twice? Yeah, it says the same thing here twice top and bottom and then click that same thing again in something different. So we've got this top thing three times and then one more different one from what I can see but it's all in Latin so I'm not even going to attempt uh, pronouncing that and even if I could say it I wouldn't know what it meant so we'll just open it and see and hopefully it'll become clear. So we have a mirror. We have Oh, it's, well, it's a little mirror on, oh, it wobbles about, it's on this little stand, it's, I'm not, I feel like I've seen this and I know what it is, but I just can't quite, you know that way when something's on the tip of your tongue and it's in the edge of your brain, but you just can't quite think. I mean, it looks like a, oh, it's the mirror that, what's his name, had. Didn't somebody have this mirror like attached to them so they could see behind them so that they wouldn't get um, killed by the basilisk? Because that's a big mirror. So that's what the mirror, there's a big thing about the mirrors and the basilisk because if you see the basilisk reflection as opposed to looking at it directly, you just get just, uh, but you get petrified or not, you don't die, which is, you know, neither is ideal, but petrification is a bit more preferable to death. So it's something to do with that, but I'm not. 100% sure. Full glass. Oh, full is full as in enemy as well, so that makes sense. But again, etiam possibus ligula get ipsum maximus fiat 
crass odio morris condimentum ut por portator and it says that again it says it again and it says crass odio morris condimentum ut protator protator acumusin yeah, I shouldn't have even attempted the Latin, I apologise for that guys, but we'll uh, tentatively say it's to do with the basilisk, but hopefully we'll get more information in the cheat sheet, and if you guys do know what it is, don't mean don't, you have to wait for the cheat sheet, let me know now in the comments below, you're, you're always very good at letting me know things that I'm utterly clueless about, so please do that. Um, yeah, <laughs> but for now we'll move on, we'll go for the, the flat box, which also has Latin on it. It's the same Latin one starting with etiam and ending in pro poor jitter. On the front and back and sides, apart from that side. And then it's got the little flying keys on it though, so. Well, I think it's something because this next box also has that same Latin on it and like a chemistry set of pictures. So are these. And this has all these boxes have the same Latin on it, so are they all. Are there something to do with the flying keys and sort of potions? Could it be something to do with the trials to get into the where the um philosopher's stone is? The key certainly is. And I can see it in the we'll find out. But anyway, the box has a flying key in it. Um And you can see, hopefully, yeah, you can see that it's very shiny, but you can sort of see the little wings. You see, but I've hurt my hand that they have a little tinge of sort of greenish blue, and then colourless at the side, and then a very intricate little brass, I suppose, or brass effect uh, key. The goldy brassy colour, very neat. And we have, I have another one. Can you fix that in frame? Um, yes, and that. Last section of my shelf with the Harry's birthday cake and things are there is not that you can see it. I don't want to lean across the camera like my big head in the way to show you, but there's another key that's different to this one also that we got in a previous box. So another key, but a different one. So that's nice. It's not the same one again. Um, but it, the other one is a similar thing with like clear cellophane wings and a little looks like the same color actually metal key. So it's just like another one of because there obviously are many, many different ones flying around. Um, so of course it would be a different design. So I'm really happy that we don't have the same one again. I don't, I don't think they would do that, but it's cool to have another one of the same thing, but a different style. Um, to like build up a little collection of flying keys, because my keys, who doesn't like a flying key? So pretty and cute and yeah, magical. Now let's open the one box that has the same Latin on it. It's the size, but bigger. Um, and it has very reflective, but maybe if I can, there you can just like see, if I can get it close without the reflect, there you go, you can just like see, it looks like a little pot and a Bunsen burner in a chemistry class, I've called it. So a mix of potions and muggle chemistry, and the vibes I'm getting. Oh, right. free in here. Anyway, let's have a look. Oh, it's a cauldron. I don't have a cauldron, would you believe? How, I don't know, do the rustle and drive and say anything else? How could I ever have hoped to be a proper witch Hogwarts student without a cauldron? But now I have one, now I can be. And how adorable. Look at this little handle. And it's got its little feeties, three little feeties. You can just see if I hold it that way, three little feeties. I just a plain black cauldron, nothing written on it, nothing inside it. But so adorable. I love this. And like I said, like, it seems ridiculous. I don't know. I don't have a cauldron, and now I do. Now I can truly. I mean, that's on your list of things with your letter for Hogwarts that you need for your very first year. So now I can actually go. So adorable. Not seeing. I'm still. Oh, well, not seeing what or having any idea what the Latin could mean. What's connecting these items apart from they're all magical part of the Harry Potter universe, which is going to be the case anyway, because the Harry Potter box. So if anyone knows Latin and can tell it translate this for me. Please do that too. Um, if I can hold it up, I don't know if it's going to focus enough for you to be able to see it. Maybe 
if you hold it like that, it's not too glary. Maybe you can just put it see. Because my my reading of it will not help because my pronunciation is would not be helpful, I can tell, because I've never learned Latin or anything, apart from like science, like Latin names for plants and animals, but it's not helping with this. So we have a little gold and silver goblet, which looks like something that was in Bellatrix Lestrange's vault to me, might not be, um, but that's what it looks like, one of the things that multiplies in her vault when Harry, Ron and Hermione go in there. Um, the Hufflepuff cup, it's not the Hufflepuff cup. Is the Hufflepuff cup Bellatrix has in a roll? I think so. Anyway, this is not what that is, but it does look like either that or it's just a goblet that they have in the Great Hall. Um, I guess the cheat sheet will tell me, but it's obviously a cup. A goblet. Um, and it's gold at the top and silver down here. And again, it has a sort of metallic -y paint job to it to make it look shiny and metallic -y, funnily enough. And that is everything, guys. So we are going to have a look at the cheat sheet now and hopefully become a bit more aware of what is happening. So there's nothing that says anything about what the Latin is. So do please do tell me if you know what the Latin is all about and if you can translate it or anything. But we have exclusive light and dark window t-shirt. We love that. Exclusive full glass replica. It's not explaining to me what it is. So again, let me know about that. Uh, draft of Living Death Cauldron, so a specific cauldron, a specific, specific potion. Um, Moody and Nymphadora, of course that being Tonks's full name, uh, community artist, and it's Tony Blake. So we had a, a piece by him, I don't know if it was last month or a previous month we did. So again, I'll hold that up so you can see his name is Ant at Facebook. Well, so his Facebook is at Ant Blake Art. Um, so do check him out. Um, exclusive Great Hall Cup replica. And exclusive Flying Key replica. And there is a typo here. Exclusive Monthly Charm Collection Feather. Because the feather is what we had last month. And this month we definitely have uh, Dobby's Free Elf Sock. So I don't, I don't have the cheat sheet from last month to see what it said. Can't remember if they put the wrong thing on that one as well or whatever's happened. But anyway, we know it's Dobby Sock, so it doesn't really matter that they're not told us that. Um, it's one of the few things that I didn't know what was in this box, let's be honest. Um, and then, yeah, so the next month hint is Hogsmeade, a story Hogsmeade Senior. So that's exciting. Could be any number of things from Hogsmeade and all the exciting shops there. So let me just poster back in. I'm not going to be able to hold it open but we all know what it is. We'll have one last one to hand it shall we? Nymphedora slash Tonks and Mad Eye Moody. There, very nice artwork by Tony Blake. Um, and our little Great Hall Cup. Our little uh, full glass. I'm sure that's that's to protect you from the bath. Is it, is it Colin Creevy or somebody, the first little boy that gets petrified? Does he not have that attached to him? I think he does, because he's... I forget what he's doing, because he doesn't know about the Basilisk, I'm pretty sure, so that there's another reason why he has that in the first place, but... No, he had the camera. Okay, so I don't know, then. Because that's why he didn't get petrified, because he had the camera. Because he was always taking pictures of Harry. So who... Is that anything to do with the Basilisk, or am I... Or is it just a metaphor, a mirror that you see your enemies in, or something? Sort of full glass, I'd suggest. You're gonna have to let me know in the comments below, guys, because I'm stumped on this one. Um, but it's cool, nevertheless. And then we have a little cauldron, which is adorable. And a mirror will stand up. And our little flying key. We'll pop that in there. And a t shirt, of course. And our little free Dobby, or free elf, sorry, sock. To. I suppose we'd be able to any elf we wanted, but it's, I mean, we think of Dobby. It's poor, sweet Dobby. So, um, have I got that one for you? No, I do. So, my favourites are, it's probably quite obvious, but the, the, the charm. My favourite charm I've had at all so far, um, and it's just adorable. Um, the cauldron, it just looks like to have a cauldron at last. 
Um, and the key, probably, to add to my key collection, because it's so pretty. Um, so yeah, they're probably my top favourites. Um, but again, everything else, the cup, it's always cool to have a replica on, like, from Hogwarts. Um, the artwork is obviously amazing and talent and so much talent there and that's awesome. And the t-shirt again, I really like this t-shirt and mainly because I'm not 100% sure of its, what exactly it is. Um, but it's still really cool and once I find out what it is, I'm sure I'll find it even more cool, but it's still cool. Again, it's a replica, so that's always cool. Um, and I don't know if I showed before, but this bit spins, so it's a moving replica. Um, but yeah, that's why I've not chosen them as my top. The top three are the key, the cauldron, and the little free toppy socky. So let me know, guys, first of all, what the significance of this full glass is. Um, and then let me know what your favourite item, oh, I'll stand up, favourite item or least favourite item in this box was. And just drop me in the comments. You feel like all feedback, greatly appreciated. Um, and thank you guys for watching and commenting, as I hope you'll do. Um, and please give us a little like if you have enjoyed it, and maybe a little subscribe if you've really enjoyed it. I want to, and also hit the notification bell so you will be able to not. What? Let me try that again. So you will not miss out on upcoming boxes. And let me know, because obviously these are only once a month, and we we do do some. What are they called? Another Harry Potter subscription box. Loot Crate. Yeah, the Loot Crate Wizarding World, or the Wizardry Harry Potter box, which is very delayed because it comes from America and you can't tell from my accent, I'm in Scotland, in the UK. Um, so it always takes long to come, and also everything going on in the world is just delaying everything right now, so that's, that's what it is. But we do that as well. Um, but obviously, that's everything second month plus delays is whenever it comes and won't be forever either because I only have two more of them coming and I've yet to decide if I'm going to continue subscribing after that but and this is obviously sorry if you can hear a weird noise in the background it's my one of my cats the cat that's Jinx was featured in a couple of last month's video you can see him in it and the previous one um from a few months ago entitled Kitty Cameo he made an appearance a lot of Jinx he's in a cardboard box in the corner of the room I'm recording this in because he is obsessed with a cardboard box despite having a cat bed and a cat tower downstairs in the house and you know beds, sofas, chairs, everything else that you can lie on. He wants to be in this box and I didn't have the heart to throw him out for me to record. So I forgot what I was saying. Yeah so obviously this is well that's what I'm saying this is obviously only once a month um and the other box, Look Crate box, is sporadically whenever it comes um, for short, short term at the moment. Unless you guys want me to continue with it, in which case, let me know that. But let me know if there's anything else you want to see to have a bit more. You don't have to wait a month, so you don't have to wait a month, I'm trying to say, between videos on the channel. Um, so it would be nice to have a bit more frequent content. So it doesn't have to be Harry Potter either. Um, any other, any subscription box that's Harry Potter otherwise you would like to see, let me know. I'll be happy to look into some of those or anything really that you'd like to see. Um, and thanks you, thank you. I can't speak, guys. Thank you for all the support, for watching, for commenting, for subscribing, for liking, for doing all that stuff. And it really means the world to me. And thank you again for getting me to 20 subscribers. It's, it really is an exciting milestone and I'm so happy for that and grateful and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you very soon for another video. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.